this is quite, this is nine marks, so you're talking 11 and 12 percent. Question nine, um, use logarithms to solve the equation. Question eight. That's given there. It is question eight. <laughs> good, good work with numbers. Um, okay. So we're saying that 5, 3w minus 1 is 4 to the 250. Yes. Just a little thought. Why do they why do they choose such big numbers here? Four to the power of two hundred and fifty. That's that's massive. Why have they chosen a number that big? Any ideas? So you can't just try and work it out. So you can't. You try and put four to the power of two hundred and fifty into your calculator, and I think it's going to say math error because I think it's too big for your calculator to deal with. So they're deliberately yeah. forcing you to do stuff with uh, actually working it out. So what we just said, we take logs of both sides. Log. You know log, is that log yeah. of 10? That's yeah. log base 10, log just run log. Yes, thanks Harry. And then bring down the powers. We're trying to get W on its own eventually, so we're going to divide by log 5. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's helpful, log 4 and log 5 are going to be long, kind of messy decimals, so it's better to leave them in this form until the end when we can put them straight into the calculator in one go. Um, rearrange this again. We're going to add 1. And then we're going to divide everything by 3 to get W on its own. So W is 1 third of 250. What have you done minus 1 of 4? Over log 5. It over. Um, you're absolutely right. Why have I done minus 1? Plus 1. It should be plus 1. Um, <laughs> if the board was the minus one. Camera's on there, I've thought it out. No, I'm just wondering why the minus 1 is there. <laughs> Say sorry. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, somebody with a calculator is going to type that in using buttons and stuff. Wait, are we just going to wait while you... You can do make two chair I make too much eye contact with the camera. I told you that. I've got this question. It's lucky I'm upset. It's talking to the audience, isn't it? No, they are. 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 They Max? Good work. Do you draw that all in? Yeah. How do you do that? Double brackets. Yeah. Not just one. Wow. Okay. Uh, that was five marks. Part two of the question. Um, actually, it looks quite different, isn't it? It's a, it's a shh. Do we do we get this? The questions. If it's part one and part two, then the intention is that they're supposed to be linked. But if it's part A and part B, then it's the same basic topic, but it's an independent question. So this is an independent thing for this second part. Given that. Given that, um, where was it? Log base 4 of 5y plus 1. Sorry? Or base x? Great. Express y in terms of x. So we need to end up saying 
y equals. Okay, before we can do anything else with this, we need to get this to be a single log term. So we need to combine these two things together. What would we do if we're subtracting two things with the same base? Divide. So log base x, 5y plus 1 over 3 equals 4. Now, on, on the previous page, when we started our logs poster, the first thing we wrote was how to rewrite this kind of thing. This is the alternative to saying that x to the 4 equals that. So x to the power of 4 equals 5y plus 1 over 3. That's where all the marks in this question come from, because that's about switching between the two different forms, log form and index form. Are we happy with what we've done there? Yeah. Okay, that's that top bit that we wrote on the first page about logs. So now if we rearrange this, we've got 3, x to the 4 is 5y plus 1. The question, remember, said give, it did say, yeah, give y in terms of x. So we now need to rearrange this. We're going to take the 1 to the other side. And we're going to divide by 5, which would give us y equals 3x to the 4 minus 1 divided by 5. And that's what we're looking for. Great.